Hello kittens, cats out loud here, and I'm playing the crooked man, and if any of you don't know what it is, well, welcome, this is the crooked man, um, I watched it a long time ago, <laughs> from other YouTubers, uh, but honestly, I only really remember the ending-ish, and that there were a few you could get. So, I guess we're all in this together. <laughs> Nothing new here for my channel, I guess. But it is a scary game, so <laughs> hopefully I don't die. I'm scared. Because <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> and I'm not even going to joke. I'm the biggest scaredy cat. But... We're, we're just gonna hop in. How, how about it? How about it? This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. So yes, if I'm too scared, I will close the game and be like, fuck this, no. But that's because I'm scared of cats. So maybe there, there will be like a video that's like halfway through and I get too scared and then you have to watch the other half later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and these rules are just kind of like, you know, <laughs> don't take the game. Ah, uh, yeah. And I have to remember not to cut the credits. I mean, I probably won't anyway. I don't think that's right. If you're playing a game, don't cut the credits. <laughs> Just don't do that. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked six pence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, wha which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked house. The crooked man. Sorry, I'm moving my <laughs> keyboard. Gotta be comfy, you know what I mean? Paul. I don't know who Paul is. Um, I'm guessing it's the guy beside the girl with the orange. Um, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, let's see. Whew, finally, things look tidy here. Merit, Merit, mm, that name? That should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh nice, the three of us could go drinking. Go out drinking. Sorry, I can't read my own lines. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Look him. Hello? Oh. Okay, I can press space. I was pressing, pressing enter and I, I was like, wait, why doesn't AS the W, W, A, S, D. Sorry, everyone. I do know how, to, I do know keys, don't worry. Why isn't it working? My point is made. That's it. Anyway, a stove. <laughs> a sink. A, fr a refrigerator. Cupboards. An old TV. I want to see this. There's a large crack in the wall. A box of tissues. A phone. An empty trash can. Huh. Sheesh, Paul. Forgot his license. Oof. I should get it to him if he's still around. Okay, I got the license. Jesus. Mesh. Yes. 
Oh. My office. An old computer. Drawers. Nothing in them. My many clothes. Not many clothes inside. A bookshelf. It hardly has any books. An empty trash can. A coat hanger. Another couch. Washing machine. A wash basin. Also known as a sink. Don't want to go. And my shower. Okay, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? Uh-oh. He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know, and not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. David. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. No reason to go out. Come on, it's his license. <laughs> Do it, my dude. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. I hate that it's so quiet. It makes me so uncomfortable. And I'm all alone. <laughs> I'm gonna be totally creeped out, guys. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Ugh. Like I said, I'm a scared cat. So I'm already creeped out, <laughs> and that's not good when nothing has happened. <laughs> uh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> I don't want it. Mm, it's dark, guys. <laughs> Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. Uh, it's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What your? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You're trying to start something. You have a guy who moved to two o four, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Er, I guess so. S sorry for waking you up. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Walking through a dark hallway. Uh, I don't want to. I just want to go to sleep. No. I don't want to go to the bathroom. What's this noise? Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm. Hmm. A 
under the bed. <laughs> under the bed. Under the bed. Why? I don't want. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about. Talk about in bad taste. <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna die. I am scared of cat. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? No. No. <laughs> no. Hmm. Found something. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a scared cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Found a scrap from a notebook. Oof. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and wreathing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll get to bed. You know, writing on my bathroom window, hearing crying, finding paper under my- Sure. Sure, it's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> this is my apartment. It's new. It's definitely haunted. Whatever. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. That sound of a man crying. What? Hello? Hello? Who is it? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Just, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man. I slept in to noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. No TV. Mm -hmm. Shall I grab my coat? Paul? Paul? What is it? Y yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this? Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So you got... You going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. I'm not doing the voices right now. Sorry. <laughs> if you want me to do the voices, I'll do them. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's me deciding, talking to myself. It's fine. Well, partially talking to you. Deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no apology. Uh, Paul's voice. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, the uh, Paul. Do you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? <laughs> write on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you think you take me for, David? <laughs> Sorry. S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. I'm going to the hospital, landscape painting. No need to go in here. Now I can stand you. I know you're there. This is ridiculous. What is this? Hello? Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. 
It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So, when you get better, we can live there together. My. That's... What should the old lady in the hospital sound like? That's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so much. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom. I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? Oh! Who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? M m get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover. Don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. Uh, I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M mom Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, remember? It's me. Sorry. <laughs> Switch her back. It's me. Remember? Mom? <sighs> David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. B but she said my name. I said leave. <laughs> Jesus. My poor mother. Let me see her. Miss Hoover. Sorry. Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring sedatives. Hello, David. Did you see our mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgotten many things. And... She's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better. So, you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Sorry, my neighbors are coming down the stairs. <laughs> Oops. You might hear it, you might not. I don't know. Did not put this chair here. No the computer. What am I to do? Oh my god. That took forever. Anyway. 
as I noticed before, <laughs> the chair moved. Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in this drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Hmm. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all. Huh. There we go. Things are happening. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Is that the voice I gave her? <laughs> uh, you saw me yes just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you ha you've, you're you ever lonely, okay? I can come visit you with Paul. You with Paul? Just with Paul? Meh. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Uh, tell her I don't need her worry. She should be just look out for herself. Alright, well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. Mm. Da 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 da. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Hmm. Gross. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink. Gah! Oh my god. What, what the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Going to the sink. A stove. Sorry. A sink. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. <laughs> Dang. What's it say? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence, I don't know what that is, upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked house. Crooked little house, sorry. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Yes, that's what you do in this situation. <laughs> All the time. You just ignore it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's. Maron, how you say that name? How you say that name? Help. But. Dang, fell asleep mid-sentence. I wish I could do that. Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And what kind, what kid would live in this beat up apartment. Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Oh, God. Hello? Of course, there's no kid here. Must be getting tired. Crack. Oh, man. <laughs> Why can't you do the playing for me? Scary. 
Honestly, I don't feel as scared anymore. It's getting better. I'm getting braver. <gasps> Not my teacup. Just a broken cup. Jeez. That startled me. Do you write G's with a J or a G? Here it's G. So it must be G. I must be spelling it wrong this entire time. Oh my god. Get get out of here. Get get <laughs> Wait. What? Help me. <gasps> the coffee's spilling out. You you gotta be uh, uh, this room, is it is really really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? And then I just go back to sleep. <laughs> YOLO bitches. <laughs> uh, hi Paul. It's David. Uh, what's up, man? You sound sleepy. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Yeah, um, what's up all last night? I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You ask the landlady. You curious about something? <sighs> Excuse me, I hiccuped. Well, uh, Seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Da 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 You didn't even clean up the spill. The far end of the first floor. Hmm, there's a second crack. Withered plant. Knock, 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 knock. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you know, you see? About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who lived, used to live there? Well, you see, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was uh, a man about your age. Um, he suddenly left about a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenant if you'd like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alright, sorry I wasn't very useful. Thanks, lady. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. That's haunted. By ghosts. <laughs> TVs turning on. Cups falling over. Oh. Oh. You're not gonna mention this. You're not gonna say anything? Well, why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. Honestly, the scares aren't that scary because it's more like, oh, somebody's just communicating with me, I guess. It's just creepy because I'm like, can you not? <laughs> I don't like it. 
But anyway, to continue the journey, the crooked man. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where? A brass key. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Damn, David. Damn. <laughs> Just kidding. You handsome though. The guy's voice. The kid's voice. His mirror writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. Huh. It's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on there? Here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Sorry. Not that I would much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody'd be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. But David. David, do, do you need a friend? I'll be here for you. <laughs> Let me give pat on head. How about that? David, please, I give you a hug. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was in here? Hmm. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. What? What? The fuck is that sound? Don't make me find it. Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Don't make me do it. Oh. Oh god. Now this is creepy. A phone. I can do it. It's in the computer room. I'm gonna look up here. I hear something in my room. From where? From where? Oh, it's from here. <laughs> I didn't even read the text. I was like, meh, it's not gonna be here. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it's turning on by itself. I don't know why you're so surprised. Uh, eh, voice. I don't know why you're still surprised by these things. It's kind of like, oh, just another, another thing. <laughs> hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Dang. Time to go back to her. I'm waiting for you. Oh. Oh. I'm I'm waiting for you. What what did how and when did it <laughs> I'ma head out. Same. I'd be like, yeah. I'm done with you, ghost. <laughs> so you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh. Wasn't expecting it, but don't swear it. Sweat it. Swear it, sweat it, same thing, bruh. <laughs> but, uh, hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Like you see a ghost or something. <laughs> oh, there is no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlywed's lovely nest. Hey, why you? Haha, 
Just kidding. Seriously? Though, so, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. This guy, he's like, nobody would care if I was gone. I understand that feeling, but... Right in front of you, this person cares. <laughs> he's like, come on, open your eyes, please. <laughs> anyway. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy like... A guy who looks out for me. <sighs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. What? How you say that name? <laughs> Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just happy about it. Not happy about it. Not. And it's fine. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for a new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some Clark with a mom in, a, in the hospital and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me man don't be such a sissy you keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud heh <laughs> well I'll be careful oh so I'm going to go on a little trip don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Nah, don't. But don't actually. Breakfast ready. Breakfast. <sighs> ready. Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. I see why he doesn't want to come over. <laughs> His girlfriend freaking ran. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. There. Looks like this, uh, this address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just wanted to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Eh. I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Hear that? Leaving as soon as I get back. The prologue. David's room. End. Shall we leave this one here? Shall we? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good... That's good. That's a good place to end. I think. So. Um. If you guys enjoyed. <laughs> leave a like. Subscribe. Um. Hit the bell. So you can see the next episode whenever I put it out. Uh, God, I'm so bad at outros. Okay, let's do this right. I'll see you in the next one. And um, have a great day. Bye!